Welcome back Rummies, this is my second cocktail creation that I want to put in my cocktail book that's coming sort of 2024 probably by the time we get round to it. Um, this is a recipe that I've been tinkering around with for a long, long time. Uh, I've, I have dropped this previously on the, uh, on the other channel. It's kind of like the coffee, banana and coconut sour. Phenomenal cocktail, but I've kind of been tinkering about with it just to kind of like really get it perfect for my kind of uh, my kind of recipe my kind of vibe so uh, as you can see the, the ingredients are there uh, this one doesn't need a name but we're going to crack on and make it now so as I've said with these all the recipes that I kind of create myself are going to have a nod to um, UK British scratch rum I kind of want to shine a light on them they will be interchangeable obviously with different rums of course they will but this is just another way that I can showcase what we're doing in in the in Britain uh, keep want to say UK but Britain when it comes to rum we are creating some awesome awesome stuff so uh, the rum I've gone for this I've chosen is lazy dogs silver like their unaged standard rum really good for like cocktails so I'm going 45 mil uh, of this four five so this is a shaken cocktail this time so 45 mil of that next up we are going for Giffard's uh, banana do Brazil again the best banana liqueur you will get on the market hands down if you try that alongside bowls or or any other uh, sort of brand you know this just tastes phenomenal it does yes it's a little bit more expensive but you get what you pay for when it comes with two liqueurs and that sort of stuff so uh one five 15 mil half an ounce of uh, banana liqueur in there uh next up we're going for a coconut syrup again little bottle of morning i've gone coconut syrup as opposed to coconut puree or coconut cream. Uh, I, I kind of don't want it to be too thick in texture. Uh, so the coconut syrup just works perfectly for me. So one five again, 15 mil, half an ounce of coconut syrup in there. So we've got that. Uh, now we're gonna sort of balance this out with the kind of uh, the flavors. So bitters wise, uh, this is Miss Better's Bitters, Cafe, uh, cafe I'm gonna call it Madras, Madeiras, Cafe Madeiras. Um, basically coffee with vanilla. Uh, punch through there really really good so uh, as I explained in the previous video roughly 12 drops is the equivalent to one dash about one mil so I'm going I like 20 I could have done 24 but I'm going 20 20 is an easy number 20 drops of these bitters 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 18 19 20 may have been 21 in there perfect bitters for this uh, we'll come on to this in a second but i've got my saline solution again a one to five cornish cornish rock salt um cornish sea salt sorry uh with water in there one to five so you're going to make this up yourself one gram i've actually done five grams of um salt to 25 grams of water that's about perfect and then again uh, it's kind of uh, there we go need to make some more up there we go uh, 20 drops of this 17 20 the saline just really does balance out for me uh now the sort of stage of my life really does balance out these cocktails you don't need to uh you know if you don't want it don't have it it's that simple but i kind of like salt it's like that umami thing like saline salt just brings out the real flavors and i found i love it in a pina colada i found that saline with coconut is superb absolutely love it so uh before we go for the foamers uh, i'm going to do 22 and a half mil of uh lemon juice freshly squeezed lemon juice 22 and a half mil of that and then you will see i've sort of swapped brands um i kind of like these i really do quite easy to get now in the uk it's that it's um uh what's the word it's aquafaba essentially um especially for vegans so you know like chickpea juice essentially but you get it from most supermarkets these days it's quite cheap um you've got i forget what it is in here now so it's 200 mil and i'm going to use 25 mil so for the price i'm going to get eight cocktails out of this you could probably get away with uh, less if you really wanted to but i've just stuck it sort of 25 mil for this not flavored but it will give you uh, that luxuriousness um that egg white does that the foamers don't necessarily do. Foamers give you the foam, but they don't really give you the luxuriousness off that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, give this a good shake up. I'm still struggling with my elbow. 
Uh, so I'm gonna give this a power shake with one arm, <laughs> which I might cut away. So good, hard, fast shake, all right? Then we're right there. We have got a nice amount of froth. So to serve this up, uh, I've got a sort of glass, sort of chilling down there. A largest ice cube, I can't make, you know, I like big ice cube balls, but I haven't got a bigger ice cube thingy flat. And then, the, you know, you can't get, this is a five centimeter ice cube, but then the glass, you know, you can't, some of the glasses I've got, you can't get bigger ice cubes in them. So I always like when I've got the sours, uh, when I've got the um, foamers, I always like double straining because that really does get rid of the air bubbles. So we're just going to sort of double strain that in there. So remember, this is a coffee, coconut and banana sour. Give that a little tap. Just get all that sort of foam. You can see what those uh, Miss, Miss Oggs, I want to say, I was going to say Mr. Oggs, what's it called? Or Oggies, Oggies, Oggs, that's the word. No why, Oggs. It's kind of, you can see the vibe there. If you want to use an egg white, you go for it. Uh, but the cool thing with your ice cube, you can just kind of do, just behind here, I've got my, I've got some dehydrated lemons. Take this off. Uh, and then, uh, Always drop stuff behind it. There we go. That's better. So dehydrated lemon. I might. I've got some mint here as well. I might put add some mint for the thumbnail. But that is absolutely delicious. There we go. Right. Nice sprig of mint. Coffee. Mint is shocking this time of year as well. Coffee, banana, and coconut sour. And now that I've taken the thumbnail, that is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Coconut with that salt. It won't be for everyone. Admit the salt if you don't want it, but I absolutely love that. The coffee from the bitters comes out there. The rum shines through. That is just, for me, a very well-balanced sour. That's flipping delicious. That is my entry to, or my next entry to my cocktail book. If you want to dive in and um, kind of find even more cocktail recipes, dive into that video right there.